get started with today's video, I promised you all that we would name the baby calf, the bottle calf, uh, based on your all's comments, and we had several, so I'm going to draw the comments, one comment, or one name out of calf here. It's all mixed up, and we will name the baby calf Marley. Marley is the new name of the little baby calf. You see, she's doing fine. So she'll be Marley from now on. Thanks for all your comments and suggestions. It's springtime, so we're headed to the local machinery dealer to pick up uh, all our filters to change in the tractor and side-by-side -side and the lawnmower. It's a bunch of them, but we do this every springtime. We're going to start on the lawnmower because my yard really needs more. We're going to change the oil in it, put our oil pan under there, take out the oil drain plug, and we're going to let the oil drain completely out. Need to get the engine warmed up a little bit first. You can see the drain plug there. Uh, we're going to loosen the uh, dipstick an oil fill cap so that we don't get an air lock in there and air flows through and every bit of the oil drains out. Uh, give it plenty of time. You don't want any staying up in there. Now we need to take off the oil filter with the oil filter wrench on the end of a, a 3 8 inch socket. I make several sizes of these. This little one fits both my uh, lawnmower and my side to side. So we're going to Take it off, it's just a, a screw-on type oil filter. We'll loosen it, take it off by hand. It's gonna be full of oil, so you need to remember to get as much in the, the oil drain pan as you can without getting it on the floor. And we'll empty what's left in there. And now we're gonna put the uh, drain plug back in, seal it off. We, we make sure we got all the oil out. We've given it, given it several minutes. So now we take out the, uh, the old oil, put it aside, and we're ready to put the new filter back on. First thing we need to do is coat the rubber seal of that screw-on filter with just a thin film of oil. Now just get a little on the end of your finger. Make sure we rub it all over that. Causes it to seal better. Uh, less chance of having a fragment of dirt or something in there to keep it from sealing. And it's just going to go back on just like the other one came off. Put it through there. Screw it on. Uh, just get it hand tied at first. And then we'll just tighten it just a little bit more with the filter wrench. You don't want to get it too tight. And now we're ready to change the air filter. Take the cover off. Now this one has a primary and secondary filter. This is the primary filter that I'm going to replace. Secondary filter, unless you're in really dirty environment, this probably needs to be replaced every other season. And we replaced it last year, so we're just going to put on the primary filter today. Secondary is that blue one that we have there. Before we put the filter in, though, we're going to take an air hose and, and blow out that container where the filters go, just to get rid of any uh, excess dirt that might have accumulated in there. Uh, they just slip back on. As you can see, press them in pretty tight. And then we'll put the cover back on, making sure the intake vent is uh, facing downward. It kind of clicks when it's in the right position. Now I'm taking out the uh, dipstick slash oil filler cap, putting a funnel down there. We're ready to fill it with oil. This particular implement takes uh, about two and a half quarts. Uh, so we're going to put the oil in there. Good boy. Okay, now take the uh, funnel out. Put the dipstick back in, screw it all the way in, and make sure that we've 
got the right amount of oil in there and it shows full. So we'll put it back. Now we come to the final conclusion of prepping our lawnmower for spring mowing. We put a floor jack under it. We're gonna take the blades off to sharpen them. Uh, we have to jack it up all the way to get under it using a uh, creeper and an impact air impact wrench. Uh, this particular mower is a 60 inch cut, so it has three different blades. Uh, on it, so we're going to take those off with the impact wrench. Keep in mind there's three of them. I'm just showing one. Take the blades off, and I, I like to sharpen it with a right angle grinder. Uh, I've got a bench grinder, too, that works pretty good, but they are really dull right now. I haven't been sharpened since last year. So I've got it clamped to a sawhorse, and I'm using the right angle grinder to put a, a real nice edge on it. And I did that to all three blades. Now we put them back on. Keep in mind there's three blades, but I'm just showing you one. It'll go on. You have to get the blade so it fits up in a slot so that it's positioned correctly. And then you tighten it with the impact wrench. And we're all done. Whoopsie.